SmartCam V2014 provides a new method to identify uncut material that remains following a roughing process. The wireframe processes now have the option to directly create rest mill regions while creating roughing toolpath. This provides a more complete method of identifying the unmachined regions than the previous AUM method. We'll rough out the pocket on this component using the new rest mill region output capability. We select the pocket process and specify the pocket boundary. The new rest mill tab contains parameters to define the rest mill region, including the CAD layer to generate it on and the name to assign it. Because we want to avoid the islands within the pocket, we make sure Avoid Grouped Islands is selected and then add the islands to the active group. We hit Go and the roughing toolpath and unmachined rest regions have been created. Now we add the rest machining region to the active group. Select our semi-finishing process step and machine the uncut areas using the region roughing process. SmartCam rest mill regions provide information about the part profile, process stock, and open areas to the region roughing process. We hit Go to generate the semi-finishing toolpath on the rest mill regions. The rest mill region output is associative to the roughing process. Changes to the process, such as tool size and shape, or finish allowance, are automatically propagated to the output rest regions. The new Rest Roughing Options tab is available in the Pocket, Group Pocket, Profile, Open Profile, Face, and Region Rough Manufacturing Processes. SmartCam version 2014's new Rest Mill Roughing Options simplify rest milling by automatically creating regions that can be cut using smaller cutting tools. The SmartCam version 2014 rest mill region task creates roughing rest mill regions independent of process toolpath generation. Prior to version 2014, only wireframe inputs could be used, requiring multiple modeling tasks to prepare the profile inputs. Now the rest mill task has been enhanced to support region elements as input. Here is a previously generated rest roughing region, which we will use as input to the rest mill region creation task. We select the existing region and use the rest mill task, choosing a previous semi-finishing process step, which determines the area of the additional regions to be created. We hit Go and generate region roughing boundaries for finishing the pocket. The new rest mill input capability in SmartCam version 2014 milling applications saves time and simplifies rest mill region generation and cleanup when multiple size tools are required. For more information, contact SmartCam CNC at www.smartcamcnc.com.